My name is Helena, and this is my story. And I feel like it's important to share my story because abuse happens to everyone. I am a transgender woman, and I'm mentally ill. I don't come from the best family. My dad used to hit me, and my mom, I don't even, I've never met another more manipulative person in my whole life. Everything was a scheme. Everyone was a tool. The first time I was in the Samaritan house, I had met Jared. I was living in Richmond with my dad and he offered to let me move in with him and as desperate for freedom as I was, I jumped on it. At first, things with Jared were great. And then his mom started to not like me. And then he started to hit me. And I just wanted to fix it because I was free. It didn't really matter that he was bad as long as I didn't have to go home. He choked me, and I thought I would die. And I called the police. Admittedly, it wasn't because of um, anything good. I called the police because he had dumped me when he choked me. I did it because I was being spiteful. But then they told me I could go to the Samaritan house. I didn't have to go home. Love shouldn't come with the promise that I had to allow someone to hurt me to have it. I was 27 when I started in the Samaritan house. I needed a change. I couldn't go back to what I knew. So I looked for it instead. The case manager began talking about the process of getting me into a home, my own home. That, I'd never had that before. For the first time in a really, really long time, I felt free. Free of my pain and my sadness. And the parts of me that had been broken for so long. The Samaritan house made sure that I was on my medication and that they took care of me and that I had everything I needed to be able to do the work I needed to really get a hold of my own mental health. And I've never had the opportunity to do that before. There is such a strong community of women in the Samaritan house that have been through this, that understand what this is. And it comes in so many different shades and flavors, but at the end of the day, we all had each other's back. My case manager, Brandy, is my superhero. She. She came in and she made sure I had pots and pans and dishes and she even helped with furniture at times. She came in and there are things that I didn't even think of when it came to having a home of your own. Every time I've been with the Samaritan house, they've been nothing but accepting of me. They've never made me feel like any less of a woman. And that sort of inclusiveness, acceptance, I struggled to find that in the past. Because of the Samaritan house and the lesson I'd learned there, this was something I was able to do to advocate for myself, to get for myself. And I'm so proud of myself. There was a sisterhood in the house. Everyone was so kind and accepting of everyone. 
that I found that in the Samaritan house when I'd spent my whole life alone and downtrodden. That I found a sister, that means everything to me. <laughs>